February. And so our nation is celebrating the contributions of African-Americans in what's called African-American History Month or Black History Month. First of all, I want to say as a kid, I remember when it was African-American History Week. And so I love the fact that we're celebrating this for an entire month. But I'm standing here in the new facility of Madison College. It's the Goodman campus. It's the South Campus. This is the community I grew up in. It's considered one of the most diverse zip codes in the entire state. But as you take a look at this beautiful mural that's been painted by Jerry Jordan, a local artist, um, it's filled with, with beautiful folks. And it's easy to think, well, okay, it's February. He's in a local college. He must be talking about the contributions of what black folks have done for the black community. No, these are folks who have built Madison. Not just black Madison, not just South Madison, not just the people of color Madison, but Madison. You have judges, you have educators, you have journalists, you have nonprofit executives, you have tenured faculty, you have historic churches, you have the historic Vell Phillips here in Wisconsin. And this is beautiful because these people shape this entire city. So I want us to begin to think about um, Black History Month, African American History Month, is not only the contributions that African Americans have made to African American causes, but contributions of black people to society, to the nation, to the world. Um, I've got to just say, I'm really touched that I'm included in this. I did not know that that was going to be the case. I wasn't told that I was going to be, but I saw a picture of this before the grand opening and it touched me deeply. But what I want to say around that is, I serve this community because I get to. I serve this community because of what it gave to my mom when she came here as a single mother 50 years ago with the dream of going to college, the University of Wisconsin. She did so and she paid for me and my sister to go. And I met my wife there, my daughter's a grad student there. But I don't do what I do because I want to be on a mural. I love it and I feel very honored. But what it makes me think is that Malele didn't do what she did in starting the Umoja in order to be here. Um, Dr. Barbara Nichols, Dr. Reuben Anthony, Brandy Grayson, Dr. Floyd Rose. But I want to say that these folks have just served the community because it's a great community, because they wanted to see all people thrive. And so it's great to see the beauty of black people on the wall, but to also acknowledge the contributions they've made to society. They have caused Madison to think differently about education, about rules, about law, about racial reconciliation, about disparities, about economic development. A few weeks ago, I came here with my, with my family, my wife and my daughter, and we stood in front of this mural. And it was, it was emotional to allow my, my daughter to see that her family is a part of shaping history for the community. It's something that's very, very powerful. I don't want to be known as a black leader. I don't want to be known as someone who served the black community. I want to be known as someone who is proudly black, obviously black, but someone who helped to make Madison better economically, educationally, and culturally. And so I'm proud that Jerry Jordan has painted this, that he's sharing this, not just with those who are, who are captured in this mural, but to tell the history of South Madison and those who shaped it and who have helped it to become the beautiful, thriving, vibrant community that it is today. Happy Black History Month.